Hello day everyone, I am Jonana Arvindigas, your IT instructor for this course, Living in the IT area. For our objectives, we have to know all about the ICT or the Information and Communications Technology and what does it compose. We will also know all about the age, the ages of information technology and we'll classify each. So let's have first topic. When we say information, it talks about knowledge, details, or facts about a subject. Again, the knowledge, the details, and the facts about a subject. Next one, we have here the word communication. Okay, from ICT, I stands for information, C stands for communication. So, let's have the communication. Okay, for communication, guys, the way we communicate from one person to another. Next is the word technology. Okay, technology refers to the method invented for useful things. Okay, done with technology. Again, let's have the summary of information and communication technology. From the word itself, it allows people, people and organization to communicate in the digital world, okay? So information is the knowledge, the details, the facts about the subject. And again, the communication is the way we send or communicate to other people. Next, or lastly, is the technology, a method invented for useful things. Okay, next, information technology has been around for a long, long time, okay? so. The ways of communicating, it just differs on the way how, or how we communicate because there were always ways to communicate through technology okay, at that point of time. Okay? Uh, yes, we have technology on that particular time. It is not the latest one. Now, we will be able to know the four main ages that divides up the history of information technology. And what are those four main ages? Guys? Uh, by the way, guys, we'll have to differentiate BC and AD. BC means the year before Christ or before Christ. And AD means annual domini. The life after the birth of Christ. Finish after that. Okay, let's have first the first age of information technology. Okay, now the first age of information technology is the pre mechanical age. It is between 3000 BC and 1450 AD. 3000 BC and 1,458 okay? It was the earliest age of information technology. 180 of the people of India discovered 1 to 9. Okay? They created numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? 775 years later, number 0 was invented. Communicating is through language or petroglyphs. They also developed at that age the Phoenician alphabet. On the pre-mechanical age, they also discovered abacus, which is the ancestors of our computers today, and also calculators. Do you know guys how abacus and petroglyphs looks like? Okay, take a look at this picture. Okay, petroglyphs is language communicate through carving in a rock or on inscription okay and abacus also is composed of beads i know you're familiar with abacus since we have all that when we are in our elementary years okay let's have a summary for the first age of information technology okay, first is the yes pre-mechanical age it is between 3000 bc and 1480 Okay. It was the earliest age of information technology. Okay, in 180 or 100 Anno Domini, one to nine was created by the people of yes India. It was the people of India. Okay, 775 years later, number zero was invented, and communicating is through petroglyphs. Now let's proceed to the second age. Or the second era of information technology it is called the mechanical age mechanical age is between 1400 AD to 1840 AD 
okay? Connections between our current technology and its ancestors. At that time, guys, they discovered the printing press, okay? Blaise Pascal invented that time the Pascal ink. And also, for the record of our history, we have Charles Babbage. He developed the difference engine. In mechanical age, guys, it is when we first start to see the connection between our current technology and its ancestors. For the overview of the difference engine, guys, it is which we tabulated polynomial equations using the methods of finite differences. Okay, now we have to summarize the second age of information technology. Okay, it is the mechanical age. Okay, it is 1450 to 1840 AD. Uh, at that time, Blaise Pascal invented the Pascaline and Charles Babbage developed the difference engine. The next age of information technology is the electromechanical age. Okay, electromechanical age. Okay, it is the beginning of telecommunications. It is an early 1840s to 1940s. Telegraph was created at that time in early 1880s. Okay, Morse code was created by Samuel Morse. Again, who created the Morse code? It was Samuel Morse in 1835. Morse code is presented through that and dash. Now, let us know first the meaning of tele. Tele means over a long distance. Now, the telephone was created by Alexander Graham Bell, okay, 1876. The first radio was developed by Guglielmo Marconi, 1894, okay? Okay, guys, now we'll have the summary of the third age of information technology. Uh, the third age, again, is the electromechanical age. It was on 1840s to 1940s. Okay, it is the beginning of telecommunications. Now, who discovered the Morse code? It was Samuel Morse. Now, the telephone was created by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. And the first radio, again, class. The first radio was developed by Guglielmo Marconi in 1894. The last age of information technolo technology, guys, is the electronic age. It was on 1940 up to the present. Again, it was on 1940 up to the present. INIA is the first high-speed digital computer capable of being reprogrammed. And it was discovered on electronic age. Okay, INIA can solve a full range of computing problems. And INIA stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Now, at this age also, uh, they discovered the vacuum tubes. Again, they discovered the vacuum tubes. INIA is the world's first general purpose computer. Let's have the summary of the fourth age. Okay, the fourth age is the electronic age on 1940 to present. And the first high-speed digital computer capable of being reprogrammed is the INIA. It was discovered that time or the electronic age. That will be all for the discussion for today. Okay, see you in our next session. Bye!